Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me, wanted to put a line, like a curved line through some wordage for a logo. They actually sent me the logo and asked me not to use a, like a star on the end of this line that's invisible. So we're going to do it. And I'm already kind of giving away part of my secret by doing that. So we'll hit and we'll make this left click, right click, and that took away all the feel of the of the color. And we're just gonna get the three point line and we're gonna start about midway up on that E to third of way up on that S and then go to the center. Now, if we just use that line, no matter how thick we make that line, and we can make it thicker by typing in numbers. If we use the Smart Fill tool right now, and move the line away, this is where he was confused because it didn't separate the line. So what you need to do is take this line, and for the video, I'm actually going to make it thicker. I'm going to make it 75 points. And go up to object and convert the outline to an object. What that does is it does this. It creates a border around your item and not just a line. So then you would take your smart fill tool and I'm gonna, let's see how big this is. It's uh, almost three inches. So we'll make our nudge factor three inches because that'll make it easier to smart fill and nudge up. So smart fill and nudge up. And then that way we can kind of see if we've missed anything and, and um, I just like doing this. It's, I think it's a smarter way to, that way you don't have to take anything apart when you're done. Now that line should have gone past. So what we could do is actually back up and take our sh shape tool and grab those two nodes and bring them past our line. And even on there, we messed up a little bit you want that line past there, and then take your smart fill tool, fill that in and nudge it up, fill that in and nudge it, whoop. I wasn't looking what I was doing. Back up, fill that in and nudge it up. So now you look like, you look like you have a line going through that letter, and it's a pretty cool logo, because then, then the line becomes black and has a an asterisk on it, basically, of their logo, but he asked me not to use it. And that's understandable. Anyway, hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.